All right, so back to doing more conservation of energy problems. Uh, what we have here is we've got a person, let's say this is you, and you want to get launched 12 meters into the air and grab onto this uh, pole here. So you've got a spring, and you have this spring compressed 0 0.5. You have it half a meter compressed uh, from its equilibrium and you want to buy a spring that will launch you 12 meters into the air. So you're going to do some physics to figure out what kind of spring you're going to buy. So basically what you're going to do, this is a pretty simple problem, you can always start off by drawing bar charts for these energy problems and see what you've got in your system. Uh, kinetic energy, no we don't have that in our system, we're just sitting still here. And then uh, gravitational potential, well let's define our axis right here to be our zero so that we have no gravitational potential initially and we have no work being done in our system but we do have a spring potential energy in our system here so that's going to be potential spring energy because this is compressed and it's just waiting for you to hit the lever and you're going to get shot up into the air all right and then basically at your end you want to go 12 meters up into the air so you're you're gaining uh, potential gravitational potential energy here so uh, now you're going to have potential in your system and that's got to be equal to your spring here so what you know is that you want to get launched 12 meters up in the air so your gravitational constant times your mass which I forgot to write your mass let's make that 80 kilograms and then times your height here so that's your gravitational potential energy that you want uh, so you know all these numbers, but you want to buy a spring that's going to be strong enough to launch you 12 meters in the air. So you've got your, uh, here's your equation for springs, if you haven't seen it yet, it's 1 half uh, k, which is your spring constant, which is what we want to know, times x uh, squared, where x is how far the spring is compressed. So basically it's a pretty simple problem, uh, you're just isolating k now and solving for k. So we're going to have k is equal to uh, 2 times uh, your gravitational constant times your mass times your height. And uh, all of that divided by x squared, where again x is how far your spring is being compressed. So just plugging in numbers, you get k equals 2 equals 2 times 10 meters per second squared times your mass, which is 80 kilograms, times your height, which is going to be 12 meters, all divided by your 0 0.5 meters squared. And when you solve for k here, uh, I'm getting this value to be 76,800 newtons per meter. And what that means is that for every 76,800 newtons uh, that you apply to this spring, it's going to be compressed one meter. So you can see that this is a very, very strong spring that you need to launch an 80 kilogram person 12 meters in the air. So that's, an, that's a basic spring problem, so hope that helps.